Hello everyone, PixelAsian here, and today I'm super excited I'll be going over some of the awesome things that I experienced while playing the Destiny Alpha. Now the Alpha was about a week ago and it was only available on the PlayStation 4. You had to have signed up during the registration period which they announced at E3. The Alpha was a download which weighed in right about 6.7 gigabytes. Let's jump right in and look at the three classes that you can choose from. The first one is the Titan, which is a tank that can use any weapon. The next one is a Hunter, that's a close combat and uses stealth and long range weapons. And then the third one is the Warlock, which yields powerful magic. Next you have three races in which you can choose from, each having a male and female version. You have the Human, which is the most common race, and they've lived on Earth for thousands of years. Next is the Awoken. Uh, they're humanoids which have dark blue or white skin tones. And then finally you have the Exo, which is a machine race. Now I'm not sure of the background of the Awoken or the Exo, so hopefully the story uh, in the game will tell us more. Now once you've picked your race, uh, there are some customization options. Uh, nothing like Skyrim or anything in depth like that, but you can change um, what face they have, um, their skin color, lip color, eye color, uh, the type of hair they have and the color hair and then markings and the color markings like tattoos and stuff. Now the EXO have something a little different instead of hair they have um, you know, parts that you can change so like antennas and little things like that and the Awoken they're pretty much similar to the humans um, but each one have kind of like one, one difference that you can change depending on the type of race they are. Now there are three places that you could go. The tower is like the town uh, where you can buy and sell stuff. Old Russia Earth was where all your missions were at, and the Crucible was the PvP area. Now within Old Russia Earth there were three missions, the Dark Within, which was your starting mission, the Devil's Lair, which is a matchmaking uh, mission where you group up with other players and go through the mission, and then Explore Cosmodrome, which actually gave you a repeatable mission so you could level. Now as you leveled up, you could train your skills right there. Um, you don't have to go back to a trainer or, or town or anything like that. And uh, each one has different techniques and you can build off the trees. Uh, I'm sure once we uh, get into the beta, we'll see more of where you can go and how you can build these characters. Neutralize. Now the Crucible is where you would go to PvP. Uh, it's a matchmaking you know, setup that will match you with different players just like any other PvP uh, setup in a game. Uh, the map that we're playing here is, is a control map, so you control points A, B, and C. Uh, what I found interesting about this game is also there's some power-ups like heavy ammo that you can pick up that will increase your damage. There's vehicles, there's turrets. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, way of adding a little bit to the PvP. Uh, we'll see in the beta uh, what the PvP will yield because I know you get points uh, for winning matches and you can spend them on, on gear. So we'll see how that rolls out in the beta. So my final thoughts on the game. I'm super excited about this game. When I first heard about it, I pre-ordered the game and got a PS4 as soon as, I, as soon as I could. I can't wait for the beta and I'm super excited that I was able to get in the alpha. Uh, the game has a lot of different elements from other games. Bungie has done a great job so far. Uh, even though this was only a taste of what they have in store, I cannot wait to see what they throw at us next. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, if you want to see more gameplay videos, definitely check out my channel. I have more videos over there of the missions to PvP and all that.